Hello and welcome to Channel Glenwood and this is a demonstration of subtraction using some concrete materials in order to explain how it works. These things are called uh, multi-attribute blocks, They're also called Dean's blocks and you don't care and that's fair enough. Um, if you hear a weird noise during this, this video, it's uh, a guy on the park with his racing car. It sounds a bit like a ghost, um, but it's not. It's just a racing car zooming around, so that's what it is. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually demonstrate why subtraction works the way it does, how the trading comes into it, and what's going on behind the scenes as you're you know, trading and crossing off numbers and things like that. So let's start with a slightly smaller number using tens and ones. Let's have 82, 82, and take away, um, let's have 65. 82 take away 65. You look at that and you know you can do it because you know that 65 is of course way less than 82. But this is the problem area here. We got two take away five and that's a problem. Um, if I do it this, Oh, I'll just go five take away two, and that's three. Yay! No, that's totally wrong. The ghost of Sir Isaac Newton, who developed some early ideas about gravity, um, comes up and says, No! If you try to do that. Look, remember this. No matter how difficult it may seem, you've always got to go down. Down, down, down. This way. This is how you do it. Start at the top and work your way down. And it can be done, and we'll use these concrete materials to show you how it can be done and also why it works. So let's make these numbers. I'm going to make 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. There's the 80. And of course, here's the 2. And I'm actually going to separate this out into a place value chart that I'm going to draw right on this table, like that. I've got the units, and here I've got the tens, right? 82, take away 65. I always start with the units column. This is the way I do it. I start with the units, and then I work my way back along the place value chart this way. So. First thing to do, starting with the units column. It's two take away five, but I can't do that because five's too big. So I am going to borrow. Uh, you can also think of it as trading, if that helps you. Um, it's decomposition, if you want to get fancy. Um, think of it as um, carrying, if you like. But whatever it is, you've got to get some more stuff into the units column because you don't have enough to take away the five. So we take one away. There it is. I'm going to put it in here. This number has now changed. I don't have eight here anymore. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have eight anymore. I'm going to get rid of eight. I'm going to cross off the eight. Eight's gone. And now instead I've got seven. But here, this is where it becomes a little handier. I don't have two anymore. What do I have? I've got this 10 that I borrowed plus the two. And the 10 that I borrowed plus the two makes a bigger number. It makes 12. Now, through the magic of video, I'm going to transform this solid block of 10 into 10 individual ones. Here I go. Watch this. One, two, three. Shazam! All right, so now I can take the five away. So let me do that. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now I'm set up to do it. Twelve take away five is how many? Well, what's left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's left in this column now is seven. So there's my answer. Now I've got seven take away six. So I'm going to take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What am I left with? I'm left with one. So my answer is 17. Isn't that easy?